All right, y'all. Today I'm going to show you how to make that Mississippi mud cake. First thing you need to do, get all them ingredients together. That creme de cocoa, you know what I'm saying? Some vanilla extract, some coffee beans, a little bit of chocolate, you know what I'm saying? Some butter, get them fresh eggs, a little bit of sugar, got some flour, you know what I'm saying? Now we're going to get all these ingredients and make something good. Get them coffee beans ready. You're going to use the fresh ones. Put them in a little coffee grinder. Yeah, get them up like that. Yeah, mmm. Ooh, that's smelling good now. Now you're going to get them coffee grounds and you're going to make some real strong coffee out of it. There it is, getting ready. Now we're going to get that coffee. Get about one and three quarters cups full. And then after we get it filled up to where it needs to be, we're going to get that creme de cocoa just like that. And we're going to top it off to about two cups. I like to put a little bit extra in, though. Now we're going to get that little mixture, put it up in the pan just like that right here. Yeah, putting on some low heat. We're going to cut the butter up, put a little bit of butter into the mix, you know what I'm saying? A little bit of that chocolate into it. You need to be patient, you know? And then we're going to let it melt down nice and even. Stir with that wooden spoon, adding just a little bit at a time so it can get melted nice and even. There we go. We just about ready to have that first part of that mixture all ready to go. Mm, look at that. And it's smelling nice and good. While this getting ready, we're going to get our bacon soda and a little bit of salt added into the all-purpose flour. And then we're going to mix it up together real good. This is going to help it cook better when we put the ingredients in. There we go. Now that we're just about ready with everything, we're going to get this little mixture and we're going to get some sugar. We're going to get them two cups of sugar, adding in about half a cup at a time, stirring it in real nice and slow like this because we don't want to rush this process. There we go. Add a little more sugar. Mmm. Yeah. We're going to add a little more sugar to it now. Mmm, look at that. Ooh, it's starting to thicken up nice and good. Go ahead, set that oven to preheat 275. There we go. We're just about all ready to get everything transferred to the bowl so we can add the flour to it. Let's get that bump pan ready. Gonna spray a little bit of that spray inside of it. Get a little bit of cocoa powder. Gonna dust the inside with it so it looks just like this. Yeah. Look at that right there. Mm. Let's get the mix. Going to transfer it over to the bowl. Just like this right here. There we go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get that flour. We're going to add it in just a little bit at a time. Maybe about half a cup. And then we're going to whisk it up. To everything's incorporated nice and smooth into the mixture. There we go. Let's throw a little bit more in there. Keep mixing it up. Throw a little bit more in there. And we're going to keep mixing it up. And then we're going to get two eggs. Fresh from the chicken coop out back. And then we're going to mix them up real good. Just like this right here. We're going to get our vanilla extract. Get about a teaspoon of it. Put it inside the eggs. Then we're going to mix it in with the eggs real good. Now we're going to add them egg mixture into our batter. There we go. Just like that. Mm. Now we're going to get the whisk. Going to whisk it up real good like this till everything's mixed. And then we're going to take our mixture and put it in our bump pan. Just like this right here. Nice and slow. Mmm, yeah. Once the bump pan's nice and filled up, we're going to get it all nice and ready like this right here. And we're going to put it inside the oven, 275, about an hour and a half. When it comes out, it should look like that. We're going to flip it upside down on the plate, let it cool. And then we can slice us up a little piece, put it with a little bit of ice cream like this right here. And then we're going to enjoy it. And there you go, Mississippi mud cake. Mm-mm, delicious.